Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'll be showcasing our Botanicuts tulips die, and I'll be showing you how to assemble those, and also one of my favorite ways to color. So we're going to start off with the large open bloom, and that consists of three pieces, the two large petal pieces, as well as the center stamen. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. I have the negative die cut of my tulip die already placed onto a sticky mat. I use these all the time. This I cut them down. These are sticky mats that are actually designed to be used with an electronic cutting machine like a Cricut. Um, I cut them up and use them for all sorts of different things. Um, they work great for holding little pieces in place while you're inking, uh, for stenciling, and all sorts of things. So I'm going to be coloring this tulip with one of my favorite coloring methods, which combines some sponged ink and colored pencils. So I'm going to start off by sponging some yellow ink around the edges of these petals. I'm going to try to create some red and yellow sort of uh, variegated tulips. So that's the look we're going for. So I'm going to start with some mustard seed oxide ink and then I'm going to switch to festive berries and I'm going to sponge some red into the center of those petals. And I think I need a little more yellow so I'm going to go back and add some more yellow. That's a pretty good start. I'm going to pop that out and I'm going to do the same thing with the other petal from the large open flower. Okay, so we have a nice layer of color to start with on our tulip petals. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some colored pencil detail and shading. And I'm going to be using my polychromo colored pencils and some shades, shades of red. And I'm just going to add some strokes. I like to just kind of build up some color with simple strokes. There are some embossed detail lines on the petals and I kind of just like to follow those and let those be my guide for adding some shading. I'm going to switch to a darker red colored pencil and add some more depth of color just kind of in the center in the more of what will be the inside of this flower once it's assembled. So we have some nice shading to those petal pieces, so I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to pull out the stamen portion, and I'm going to sponge that with some black soot oxide ink to make some black stamens. I might leave the tips of some of those uninked so I can add some brighter yellow. You can also do that with some colored pencil as well to kind of bring that out just a little more. So we're going to set our large flower pieces aside and we'll assemble everything all together later. We're going to move on to the more closed tulip bloom, which consists of five pieces. Now your uh, die set will come with an assembly guide, so you can also refer to that for the pieces, which pieces go with which flower. So this more closed bloom has five pieces. So I'm just going to continue with inking using my mustard seed and festive berries inks and also add some colored pencil shading. Now I'm going to switch to my festive berries and add some of that red down more towards the base of each of those petals. And you can always go back to your first color and add more if you feel like it needs more. Alright, so I feel like that's a pretty good start. I'm going to go ahead and take my colored pencils and again just add some strokes and shading. I'm 
I'll switch to a darker colored pencil and add some more depth of color more towards the base of each of those petals as well. We'll go ahead and set those pieces aside and we'll finish up by adding some color to the little bud. There's also a tulip bud which is two pieces. There's the base and then the detail petal and so we'll add some color to that using basically the same technique. All right, those petals are colored as well and we'll go ahead and set them aside and we'll do the leaves. So you can see we have an assortment of leaves and stems. So they are just really meant to pretty much mix and match and you can use them whatever way you'd like to kind of fit your layout and design. There are two pieces that are meant to layer together, which you can use them that way, or of course you can use them independently as well. The two pieces that are meant to layer are these two and they can layer like this. The smaller piece just goes over the top. You can ink those up in some different colors and it makes it look like the tulip petal is kind of curling over at the top. So I'm going to just be inking this with some, I'm starting with peeled paint for the lighter green and then actually for this leaf I'm going to add some darker here at the top. I really wouldn't have had to ink that because we're going to layer that other piece over the top. So I'm going to add just some darker color to that top that will be exposed after this piece gets layered over the top. So this is peeled paint. The darker shade is a uh, rustic wilderness. And I'm just going to be nesting all of these pieces in my die cut negative so I can just easily ink those up and add the color. So I have a nice layer of peeled paint on all of those leaves and then I can go ahead and I'm going to actually just add some of this darker rustic wilderness to more of the base or bottom part of the leaf where they're going to attach to the stem. And this one I might even add a little bit to the tip so that it gives kind of accentuates the curve of this leaf and it make it look like it's kind of catching some light at the top of the curve. And of course you can add some colored pencil shading as well if you want to add even more texture and detail to your inking. So I think that's looking pretty good and we just have our stems left. So I'm going to pop these out and add some color to our stems and then we can go ahead and assemble everything. So now that we have everything colored, we can go ahead and assemble. I'm going to start with the large open bloom. And before I assemble that, I do like to take a colored pencil or a paintbrush handle or something and just kind of run that along the edge of it to give those petals just a little bit of curve. Then you can go ahead and layer those two. It doesn't really matter which one goes on the top. Just layer them so that this short petal with the extra little curl on the edge is at the bottom of the flower. Then you can top it off with the stamen. I like to bend those forward just a little to add some dimension as well. Next we have the more closed bloom. So we'll start with this double petal and we'll add this piece goes in the back so it comes up between the two petals and you can kind of nest it just right down at the bottom. So it kind of peeks up in between there. And then we add the two side petals. I like to just add some adhesive just kind of along the bottom and you can curve these a little bit as well. And then this petal just fits right over there on the left edge. And this one goes on the right side. Just like that. And then this petal here is the center petal that tops everything off. 
So again, I just like to add just a little bit of dimension to that by curling that a bit over a pencil or paintbrush and then adding some adhesive just to the bottom edge of that petal and then you can kind of adhere that but let it let it hang free at the top just so you get really more realistic effect. Then there's the little bud which is just two pieces. The tiny detail petal just gets layered over the top of the base. And there we have our three different tulip blooms. And are we have an assortment of greenery, which I like to add the stems and leaves as I'm going along creating my design and my card front, just so I can position those how I want them with my design. The, the stems curve in different directions and you can use those either or, and just get those positioned however you'd like them. Well, thanks for joining me everybody. I hope you enjoyed this coloring and assembly video for our Botanicuts tulips die. These are available at thegreetery.com.